Kathy Rowe and her disabled husband Donald fell for Popoff's pitch. They borrowed thousands of dollars from relatives, saying they were going to pay their bills, but instead they sent it to Popoff, $4,500 in all. I just look back on it and think, you know, I'm a pretty stupid person. We wanted to ask Popoff a few questions. Reverend Popoff? Yes. Matt Mahar with Inside Edition. Could I ask you a few questions about your ministry? Hey, you're squeezing me. Sorry. How can you justify taking all of this money from people that are desperate? Can you just answer us one question? Can you just move away, please? Can you, would you talk to us later, please? No. Kathy Rowe, the lady you met, says she only stopped sending Popoff money two months ago when she had no money left for food. She says she now feels that she was brainwashed by watching Popoff on television. He tells me to do, I do it, and it works perfectly, just like he said. When he tells you to do something in a letter that he sent you, you better believe it. You do what he tells you to do, and everything is going to work out. Not just fine, but perfect. <laughs> debt-free, have all of your bills erased and paid in full? If so, this message is for you. Reverend Peter Popoff wants to show you how to erase your debt. All of it. You too can have all of your debt supernaturally erased when you use the miracle spring water. I'm Peter Popoff. This is my precious wife, Elizabeth. That's right, Pete. And you know what? He's been, we have been anointed and appointed. Amen. God has anointed us both to get you healthy and wealthy. That's right. These are going to be debt cancellation testimonies of a magnitude of a proportion that we've never experienced before. Use the miracle water God delivered me. They used the miracle spring water. And a few days later, hallelujah, I received a check from my employer for over $4,000. I drink your water. I use the water for everything. Reverend Popov. Two years ago, I was lower than you can even imagine. I ordered your water. Two weeks ago, I moved in a brand new house. My husband got $40,000. Unexpected money. I drink it up every day. They sent for the spring water, and I tell you, a check came in the, in the mail for 100 G's. I drink the blood of lamb. I can miracle water. I'm supposed to be dead five years ago. I've had 39 operations, two heart attacks, a stroke, um, two blood transfusions, nine and a half toes, and I'm still here. I went from a wheelchair to a walker, from a walker to a cane, and now I'm walking. I drink it up. She used the miracle spring water. God blessed her with over $25,000. It's going to be debt cancellation testimonies that we've never experienced before. I love to read, to read the uh, testimonies that come in. Reverend Peter Popoff is a very dangerous man because he was taking people's faith in their religion. He was taking away their security. In many cases, he was harming them physically because he was convincing them that they didn't have to go to doctors anymore. You've got pills as an act of faith. Well, I want you just to throw them out the aisles. Those of you up in the balcony, just throw them over the side. Just throw them over the side. Throw them over the side. One of the things Popoff always tells them, whatever you give, you will get back tenfold. So if you put a dollar in, hey, you're going to get ten bucks. You put a hundred bucks in, going to get a lot more money back if these people truly believe this. Popo, who was going around a congregation and just seemed to be able to hear the voice of God and know all about people, even their addresses, he would call it out, everyone's impressed. Is that John 3784, Archwood Road? God is burning those blood clots out of his veins, out of his arteries. Yes. <laughs> So he was doing a vandalism act, it appeared, and we wondered how he got the information. And as I get up close, I notice in his ear that there's an earpiece. There's no ear hole. It's a little piece of plastic in there. And I come back to Miranda and says, I think I know what's going on. I said, what's up? He said, he's wearing a hearing aid in his left ear. Now, a man who heals the deaf, you wouldn't think would be wearing a hearing aid. What? So I enlisted uh, the aid of a private investigator named Alec Jason. I dressed as a security guard, complete uniform, badge, shirt, radio, keys, everything. I went down a corridor, and that's where I set up my equipment. So I have my scanner going, 
and is looking for new frequencies, anything new that's not there normally. Get ready. Get ready. Suddenly, on the scanner, one of the lights came on, saying there's a signal, and the scanner has stopped at that frequency. And then I hear someone coming closer and closer to the microphone, and the woman's voice said, Hello, Petey. Hello, Petey. Can you hear me? If you can't, you're in trouble. They were using a radio frequency. I found it. In the name of Jesus. Jody D. Jody D. Is it Jody? Jody? Dean, Jody Dean. She, no, she should be right there, honey, right there. Here it comes. Okay, she moves at 4267 Masterson. 4267 Masterson, I can see. Rosa. Kamir. Is it Kamir? She's there with her son, He has a lump in his chest. Wait just a minute, who's Kipper? He's got a lump in his chest. They filled out prayer request forms saying, I have cancer, or, I have this problem or that problem. So she's giving that information directly to Popoff, and then he's reciting that information as if he's getting it from God. Martha, is it Martha? Is it Sikorsky? Weldon, Crab. Is it Weldon? Crab. Crab. Peggy White. Peggy White? And I thought, I'm getting out of here now. So I packed everything up. I, I turned the equipment up, took my bags, and I walked down the stairs. Not only do we have the evidence we needed, we had more than what we needed. We had it. So I went on the Johnny Carson show, and when the revelation came, and you heard Mrs. Popoff's voice. Hello, Petey. Can you hear me? If you can't, you're in trouble. Johnny suddenly realized what the gimmick was, and he said, oh. God is a woman, obviously, and sounds exactly like Papa's wife, Elizabeth. Has he seen this tape? No, he does not know about this until this very moment. If I can't imagine what it would be like to maintain a life where your living and your well-being of you and your family depends upon you lying every single day. Well, we did it. We had exposed this man on probably the most popular television show of the day. And he announced bankruptcy shortly after. to tell me that you were a false prophet god has anointed us both do you understand do you understand that's more to the point do you understand i'd like you to tell me that you are and have been a false prophet how god is supernaturally canceling the dead that's right supernaturally I need help. I'm a sinner. I've let the devil grab hold of me in ways I never imagined. I'm so full of sin. The Lord sometimes challenges us, doesn't he, Lord? Oh, yes, he does. Daniel, yes, he does. Yes, he does. He completely failed to alert me to the recent panic in our economy. It's drowning. Governments of the world are drowning in it. This... Must, I must, I must have this. My investments have. I'm just a fool. I broke you and I beat you. I'd like you to tell me that you are and have been a false prophet. I am a false prophet. Say it like you mean it. Testimony is of a magnitude. A false prophet, God. Of a proportion. I am a false prophet. No. Just imagine this is your church here now. Why, God, they're gone! We have a full congregation, so. So, erase, wipe out. I am a false prophet. Obliterate. I am a false prophet, God. You're dead. A false prophet, God. Say it like it's your sermon. Both of them assist, sir, God! I am a false prophet, God! I can't hear you in the back. She got it. I am a false prophet, God. Does her. I am a false prophet, 
god! I am a false prophet god! They should have put you in a glass jar. I drink it up! Don't bully me, Daniel! You think your song and dance and your superstition would help you? No! Let's get out of here, your own pain! In the name of the Lord God, Jesus! The power of the Holy Ghost! Here it comes in, she devil back! God, is the bondage is broken? Oh, and your thoughts are... Help me, Help me, Help me, boy! I am a false prophet God!